In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we are grateful to you, Almighty God, for the gift of this new year and this Sunday, when we celebrate the second Sunday in ordinary times. Bless your people. Inspire us to respond, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, people of God, I welcome you to this new year. And today in the Catholic Church, we celebrate the second Sunday in ordinary times. The Lord has, been great, has blessed us. We have gone through the Christmas season very well, and now we have started the ordinary times. I congratulate you and want to call upon you to turn to the Lord this year for more blessings. I want us to reflect on the theme, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. From the psalm we are going to listen to in today's Sunday. That is Psalm 39. In the first reading, which is coming from the book of Isaiah this Sunday, Isaiah chapter 49, the Lord reminds us that he has created us for a purpose. A purpose to go and bring the scattered people of Israel wherever they are scattered and bring them, reconsolidate them to come back to the Lord. And God tells us it is not enough for us to do the gathering of these people who are scattered, but rather he creates us and forms us to be a light to the world. In the gospel text, we find Christ as the fulfillment of that true promise in which John the Baptist uh, shows him to the world and he says himself had not known, but the Lord had told him, the one on whom you baptize and receives the Holy Spirit and you see the Holy Spirit resting on him, he is the one. And John shows him to the people. Christ is the true light, a pure reflection of God our creator. And he is the one who fulfilled those words of the psalmist, here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Psalm 39 tells us that God was not interested in sacrifices, these offerings we make. And yet, now, we see, it says, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Many people do sacrifices about doing their own will. We are being challenged today to do God's will. And God's will is that we and I, you and I become that light which enlightens the people by our way of life. May we inspire many more people by living good lives, inviting them by our actions rather than our words to come to their creator who wants them to also to turn into lights to transform many more people and enlighten them. In the world today, there are so many things that have scattered us, which claim to be light, but actually in the end, they are total darkness because they draw us away from the true light, Jesus Christ. May we pray for that spirit of guidance, the spirit to guide us that we may be able to follow Christ who is the true light. And may we radiate this light we receive from Christ wherever we go, at our places of work, in families, in, play, in the marketplaces, and wherever we find ourselves. Let us be propagators of this by responding, like the psalmist says, every day and every moment of our lives to tell God, I'm here not to do my own will, but your will. And this is what Christ taught us in the prayer we say, Our Father, let your will be done, not my will. May God's will permeate the world, that the world may be a peaceful world and a better place for people to live in. The Lord be with you.